found Brandon's favorite outdoor store. Cabela's. And my new Christmas present. Uh, I think our van could tow that. Boat is not your Christmas present. Oh, you're not gonna give me a boat for Christmas? No. There's a boat sale though. Yeah, because people need it because if it's rained so much, it's gonna flood. Hi, my name is Ricky. My name is Brandon. And welcome to our Lives Unscripted. We're on the 101. Yeah, I think we're on the 101. Here's the first 101 sign. We're at the very start of the 101. We just started our trip on the 101. <laughs> Are you so excited? Because we're going to drive as much of this as we possibly can. But first, we've got to drive it north. Some cold, rainy, windy weather. How but fitting, we start the 101 with rain. For the next few days, we enjoy the rain, finish working for the week, and slowly head towards Port Angeles and the Olympic National Park. There's the mountains, and that's Mount Olympic National Park, that's straight ahead. It's not Mount Olympic National Park. It's Olympic National Park and that's Mount Olympus, somewhere over there. I'm guessing it's all storm. Probably. We got here when it was dark again and then we woke up and we had some mountain views. We just got back from the Olympic National Park Visitor Center. We kind of got a few tips. They, a lot of the roads going up to the mountains are kind of closed. So we're gonna just head down the 101. We're gonna go to Lake Crescent and then Rialto Beach. And right now we're in Port Angeles. Yep. And uh, good thing I said it right, because I always say it wrong. And if you look over there, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada is over there. Somewhere over there. All right, thanks for the tip. So hello to those fellow Canadians. Oh, and uh, look where we're going next. Oh. Down this dock. And up that tower. Behind me is the ferry over here. Uh, we looked it up. It's the ferry takes you from Port Angeles here over to Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. We looked it up because I thought it'd be cool to go to Victoria, but we uh, to bring our van there and us, it's like $176 or something. But if you do want to come here and then go to Victoria, you could take the ferry. And yeah. Right now we are at Lake Crescent and we are at the East Beach of Lake Crescent. It looks really pretty. We're having some technical issues right now. We're not. I'm running out of space on my camera. It's not a technical issue. I can delete a whole bunch of stuff on there. Alright, we're going to delete some stuff. And we'll get back to you because we're not going to miss any of this stuff. Where are we at? We are at Lake Crescent, it's behind me. We are just at the East Beach and then we just went down the 101 some more and there's a whole bunch of pullouts here. So it's like right off the road. You could just stop and enjoy the view. We just pulled out along the stop here at Lake Crescent and we saw this uh, car parked here. They were staying here one too many days. So if you're in a van and you're traveling, Make sure you don't stay more than one night in one spot because this is what could happen to your vehicle. So you want to make sure that when you're traveling in your van, park in different spots. You don't want this to happen. We just made it here to Rialto Beach. Uh, on the coast and Ricky's excited to see the Pacific Ocean because she has not ever seen the Pacific Ocean before and I'm excited to see the cool rock formations in the ocean so we're gonna hike over all these logs and go check out the view I 
think you just found an ocean-sized skipping rock. If you want to skip rocks, this one I bet I'll do like 30 skips. Bring it up next to your head. I want to show people how big it is. Yeah, that is Ricky's size of Ricky's face. So what are you going to do? Okay, I told Brandon when I come to the Pacific Ocean, since I've never been there before, I'm going to go touch the water. Alright, well good luck. <laughs> are you going Hopefully. to come with me? Hopefully you don't get your shoes too wet. Are you going to come with me? No. Are you going to touch I'm it? I'm just going to film you. Okay. So this is a bridge you have to take to get across Ellen Creek to the other side of the water. So the log crossing was a success. I only smashed my shin once. You have to be really tall to go a certain way. Yeah, I tried to go the tall person way and I'm not tall enough and I was afraid of ripping my jeans. But then my shoe slipped off the log because it's wet and then, and then I smashed my shin. Who did it better? Probably you. <laughs> so if you come to Rialto Beach, make sure you walk down to these spiky rocks behind me. Uh, when you get to the parking lot, you just take a right and then walk down the beach. I think it's a mile and a half. It's really pretty. It looked kind of cool from far away, but it looks even cooler when you're right up next to it. We're going to take some Instagram photos and some other photos and take some video here and show you around but definitely come here hike down the beach half mile and check out the really cool rocks rock formations we're also going to see the hole in the wall which is behind him right now yeah the hole in the wall is coming up so we're gonna hopefully take you in there we gotta hurry though because it's getting dark it's getting dark Go to the hole in the wall, make sure you come at low tide because you can't reach it unless the water's down. If you want to walk through it and take some photos, uh, make sure you check the tide charts first. And it looks pretty cool. It's super windy, so I don't know if you can hear me right now. Camera's getting blown around like crazy. We're going to take some photos and start heading back. The vampire threat is high right now, just so everyone's aware. That's why we're getting out of town.